All right, hello everyone, Triple S here, and I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm going to show you a tutorial because I found something with OBS, as Open Broadcaster Software. It's an amazing program for uh, streaming. A lot of streamers use it for like Twitch. But I've also discovered something else. You can now, we well, could before you could get like your Dazzle DVC 100, which I own on my 360 to record. You could get that up and in colour, but you could get sound. But now I've discovered you can. I'm guessing the update's been out for a while, but I just completely ignored it. But now you can get sound with your Dazzle DVC, DVC 100 up in full colour on the video. And it's so much better than the program that I used to use called AMCAP, which you could only have open for 15 minutes, and after that it would stop and say, oh, go buy the full version to record, to have this program open for longer than 15 minutes. So, uh, yeah, stuff AMCAP. If you're using it for your Dazzle, which I was, get OBS. So now I shall show you how to get your Dazzle up in full colour with sound on OBS. And actually, I'm going to plug in my headphones because I forgot to do that. Right, let's just get rid of that. Now, first, let's make a new scene and just have it blank, right? Add. Hopefully you'll be able to see a video captured device, which is here. Click OK. Now we're here. That's my webcam, another webcam, and a dazzle. This is the one we want, right there. An audio input device over here. We want dazzle again. Now uh, you can output audio to stream only, but I record uh, certain areas of my screen with Bandicam, Bandicam, Banditcam, whatever you want to call it. So I would output the audio to my desktop so Bandicam can hear it. I don't record with OBS, I just use OBS to get it up on my screen. So right, we have audio output to desktop. Now open crossbar, this is the main thing that they've added in which really helps. So if we open crossbar, in input, oh no, Output, we need to change that to audio decoder out, and then we go back to input and put audio line in. Click apply, OK. Now up here we need to go to configure. This is the main thing that I've figured out how to get it up and working. Now click it to your video standard to put it to NTSC, NTSC uh, underscore M. Uh, maybe put a VCR input on as well if you want. Click apply, OK. Now click OK. Hopefully, we we'll preview the stream. Right there. There is the dazzle. So let's fit that to the screen and uh, ignore the uh, thingy here. Is it Alt? It's Alt to uh, damn it. There we go. Just get rid of all that and fit the screen. And then you know you can sort out the edges and everything like that if you wanted to, so let's just confirm we have sound. You should be able to hear that. Throw a grenade. Reload. It's not all that loud. But you should be able to hear we have sound. But now, yeah, we have sound, but the image is in black and white. So what do we do about that? Well, Let's click, right click video capture device and click properties. Go back to configure here. Go back to your video standard and change that to CCAM B. Click apply, click OK, click OK down here. And colour. So now I have Halo 2 up and running with sound and in colour. And from this point you could um I don't think you'll be able to rec actually record using OBS. That's the main thing. If I was to stop preview now, it would bring it up and stuff would happen. Maybe I could start streaming, maybe I could start recording, I'm not sure. But I've mainly record with Bandicam. As you see, all well and good. So that's how you get it up in full colour with audio. And then... That's as far as I've got, because I then record with Bandicam, so I can record just the screen right there of the video. 
But let's just see if I uh, stop recording, uh, stop preview, we'll go back into properties and we'll configure this back to NTSCM, apply, ok, audio is still good, open crossbar has changed back, for some odd reason, let's change that back to that, ok, now let's start recording, right the video's there, properties, configure, so you can be, apply, ok, ok, edit scene, Fit to screen, okay, so you can record with um, colour. It's just when you upload it, or if you do editing beforehand before putting it onto YouTube, you have to just take out the bit where you were changing around the uh, video standard settings. But there you go! That is how you get your Dazzle up into OBS with full colour and audio for you to record uh, with Bandicam or with OBS itself if you would like. So, Thank you very much for listening and watching my tutorial. Hopefully you've been able to see everything I've been clicking on. Uh, I will put uh, numbered instructions in the description as well, in case you just want to read instead of listening to me blathering on. But there you go, OBS, awesome program. If anyone's using AMCAP, get rid of it. I paid for it once, and then I lost. They don't even send you a code. They send you a file through the email with an... It, to install the full version. You lose that file, you have to buy the whole thing again. It's 20 quid. It's probably like $30 in America. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope this helps, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.